So we're comparing the two. On. And, and I would just say, Sarah, that, that journalists make honest mistakes, and that doesn't make them fake news. But uh, the question that well, I have. When journalists make honest mistakes, they should own up to them. We uh, sometimes, and a lot of times, you the don't. President, but the there's a difference. The there's a very big. I'm sorry, I'm not finished. Okay. There's a very big difference between making honest mistakes and purposefully misleading the American people, something that happens regularly. Like, you can't you say, I'm not done. Least, you, you cannot say, fake, you cannot yeah, say that it's an honest mistake when you're purposely putting out information that you know to be false, or when you're taking information that hasn't been validated, that hasn't been uh, offered any credibility, and that has been continually denied by a number of people, including people with direct knowledge of an instance. This is something uh, that... I'm speaking about the number of reports that have taken place over the last couple of weeks. I'm simply stating that there should be a certain level of responsibility in that process. This was not, this was not Ryan, uh, I called on Jim. The, I know. This is not uh, the, the line of questioning that I was going down, but can you cite a specific story that you say is intentionally false, that was intentionally put out there to mislead the American people? Sure. The ABC report by Brian Ross, I think that was pretty misleading to the American people. And I think that it's very telling that that individual had to be suspended because of that reporting. I think that shows that the network took it seriously and recognized that it was a problem. Sarah, Jim? If I may, though, I was going to ask a question about something uh, else. Well, you used it on something well, else. Sarah, Jim? Sarah, if I may. Uh, Sarah, I think it's yeah, I think Jim. keep moving, guys. If I can ask about the, the other president's uh, accusations. I'm moving to a different gym, I'm them. sorry. I know, but I didn't get a, a chance to ask the, the question that I wanted to ask, which is, Jim. can you just say once and for all whether these Jim, I'm going to say once and for all that I'm moving on to Jim Stinson, and I'm not taking another question from you at this point. I was Sarah, there a question so about investment to your attacks on investment the taxes. Taxes. If that's okay. I, I would like to ask the question that I had about these accusations of misconduct against the president, you said that he's denied them. Can you say whether or not they are false? I'm not That's all I'm asking. You're not Go ahead, Jim. Some investors are saying the tax reform package uh, favors.